going to let you to read, go out and to read. We have another spot across the street here. And uh, what we're going to do is going to let you get in there. Say everybody say hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. And I want you everybody to say, Danse. 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 Uh, that means, hello, hi, how are you? Thank you for coming here today, guys. I appreciate um, everybody coming here. Uh, so much history in so little time. I grew up around here. My dad was a chief for 12 years. And um, I kind of um, grew up around this history. And yes, these are all uh, markers of a very important part of what happened here in 1885. How many years ago? Who's good at math? 1885. 136 years. <laughs> That's not a very long time ago, guys. Seven generations. We have grandfathers that kept this story alive for us. And I'm gonna share with you today just a little part of what happened. In Todd okay. Lake, sit down, sit down. here, uh, this is a rich part of uh, Canada. We have lakes all over here. Uh, this is where we we uh, we grew up. This is a part of our land. And as uh, they started taking it away from us, it got closer. So this is where we ended up on the shores of Frog Lake. And if you drive through the great uh, lakes here, Whitney Lake, Ross Lake, you'll see how beautiful it is here. So that day, that fateful day in 1885, there was this young woman. Her name was, uh, I don't know what her name was. She was Auntie Suzoka. Uh, Frog Lake uh, was a rich part of Canada. You guys must have heard of Big Bear before, right? Big Bear? Everybody heard of Big Bear? So in his camp was a chief named Wandering Spirit. They got sent here to Frog Lake. And in Frog Lake, there was Indian agents who were doing bad things. You can see the markers are, 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 are marked here. Um, the young lady went missing for three days. And there was a war chief that took it upon himself to go look for her. So they went there the first day. The Indian agent said, no, he's not here. The second day they went back. Again, the Indian agent said, no, she's not here. But everybody in the camp knew that was the last place they went. So as the Indian agent went there the third day, didn't bother asking the Indian agent, unfortunately. He lost his life that day. His name was Thomas Quinn. You can look about it on YouTube. He was one of the first guys to get shot that day. And as he got shot, um, there was a camp. The store was full of goods and blankets. The women and children, they went in there to get what they needed because they were starving. The Indian agent wouldn't give them nothing for three days, four days, five days, weeks. There were children dying here. So when Wandering Spirit did that, he didn't do it out of anger. He did it out of, out of love for his people. And it was one of, the, uh, one of the bravest things that could ever be done is to sacrifice your own life because he knew what was going to happen if he killed an Indian agent. So as they were fleeing up the hill with their goods, the rest of these people, they were trying to gun them down, the women and children that were running <laughs> up the hill. So it, it wasn't like... Uh, they went in there and just started killing everybody. No, it wasn't like that at all. We were defending ourselves. And it was a part of history, a part that you need to know. And I'm a part of this, and thank you for listening to me. Um, it goes on way more than that than what happened here in Frog Lake. In Frog Lake, the six men that were here, they went to Fort Pitt. From Fort Pitt, they went to Duck Lake. And from Duck Lake, they went to Fort Battleford, and that's where they were hung. The six men. No trial, no interpreter. They went to the gallows. They were hung and they were all put in an unmarked grave in Fort Battleford. So it's a part of history that you need to know. And thank you for listening to me. My name is uh, Sean Waskahat, AKA the Cree agent. 
Look me up on Facebook. I'm sure you have Facebook. Check it up on your phones when you get out of here. Cree agent, if you want to learn more about history, about Indian culture, and about who we are as Indian people, some of you all might have uh, Indian an ancestry. So it, it, it's good to know. So thank you for coming. I wanted to introduce you to my, my, my two kids here, Kaiwa and Shalina. We were going to dance for you. We brought the drum. We were, but next time, maybe we'll have some time to uh, do an exhibition. Um, one of the parts that we do for keeping our treaty alive is to keep our young men's hair long. This guy's eight years old. He hasn't cut his hair since he was born. And that's our connection to the earth. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And you have yourself a wonderful day. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Free agent. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm.